Um, both personally and business-wise, where do you see yourself in the next like five years? So it's a great question because um, in the last six to nine months, I've really done a, a gigantic examination of our business. Uh, I love to work. Like, I love working. I love going to work every day. I have to monitor myself, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but in the next five years, my hope is to grow our business to the point that which I can either segue out of it, either sell what we've built and go do something else, or leverage it to the point to where I can, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. step away and not be, have to be involved in the day to day. The hard part about that is, is, is quality. You gotta make, you're the guy that owns it, so you've gotta m keep a constant monitor on that. But you move slower when you hire great people because you have to pay them more to run what you're doing. And so I've, I've transitioned into that, but I've also sought out advice to how to, this is such a buzzword now, but how to scale our business. Mm -hmm. I hate that, but it's true. How do we grow? I'm a football coach who owns his own business right now, who loves food and is pretty good at food. So the business aspect of this thing, I wasn't well versed in. Mm -hmm. Like my mentors were like freaking guys that coach ball and could do that wonderfully. Mm -hmm. And so I've having to seek out people to say, hey, how can you help me? I mean, and being humble enough, trying to be humble enough to say, I ain't got this thing figured out, even though we've been fairly successful. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? How do we take the next step? And I think that's where people get it wrong is they don't seek out people. And the term mentor is so overused right now, but like I need, I'm seeking out. And I found a couple that people mm -hmm. that you can just say, hey, can you help me? Yeah. What's the next step here? And we're like, we're meeting with a guy this week that's who's been a family friend forever that has been in that world to help us do that. So to answer your question is, I got a plan mm -hmm. and I got goals. Um, the biggest thing is how to, what am I doing daily to, to mm -hmm. make those things happen? And um, we got a good plan. We do. It's, but I'm, 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 every day I'm stepping into uncharted territory, and that's where I get back to trusting, trusting God, but also mm -hmm. trusting that the things that he's laid out for me, that I may not see it totally clear, but i got to go because this is where he's leading. When that daily discipline applied to that plan is how you get it done. That is it. And, and I can't express this enough. I do not love getting up every morning and reading my Bible. But I do it anyway. I do mm -hmm. not just fall in love with the idea of getting up and working out every day. But I do it anyway. Mm -hmm. There are some things that you get up. Some mornings I do. I get up, I'm excited to do yeah. certain things. But some I don't. But I do them anyway. And the more times we can do them anyway, do whatever that is anyway, I feel in my heart wholeheartedly the more successful we will be I because agree. you can say, well, follow your passion. You got to have passion to get through the hard times Yeah. because the bulk of your day is not just like butterflies and rainbows. Mm -hmm. You got crap that you're going to have to go in here at night or tomorrow morning at five and do that you're not just excited about, but you got to do it. Anyway. Absolutely. So those are the things that I think that will get us there. I got no doubt in my mind. In the next five years, we're going to reach our goals. Mm -hmm. No question about it. But it's just, hey, you just got to take that path to get there and continue to do it. One thought I had on that before we wrap up is I was listening to that talk with Seth Godin, and he it kind of just hit me like a ton of bricks. He goes, you know, there's a huge difference between a freelancer and an entrepreneur. And he goes, we have it completely backwards in our society. He goes, a freelancer is somebody who is selling their services only when they work. And that's really me right now. Mm. Right. If I'm not in here, I'm not really making a whole lot of money. Right. right? I don't have passive income streams. And he goes, an entrepreneur is somebody who's created something where they can walk away or it runs without them. But I, you know, I tell people all the time, I'm an entrepreneur. Right. I'm a business yeah. owner. Are you really? Right. Or are you just working and trading services for money? And yeah, this is a health podcast and all that. But think about every part of your life in that fashion. Yeah. Are you just freelancing everything? Are you creating systems and daily systems, disciplines? Systems, man, God, yeah. And the ability to have a bit of grit when things aren't great, because yeah. if you don't have a system and you don't have a plan and you don't have any of that, it doesn't matter. Damn. Diet, exercise, spirituality, whatever it is, it's gonna fall by the wayside. Absolutely, yeah. And that's, I think, why people like you and I and you know all the people we surround ourselves with, 
put ourselves up against kind of the fire consistently through, you know, working out competition, whatever it is, because we're trying to test ourselves to be sh like, almost to be sure, like, Hey, is the stuff I'm doing working right? Am right. I, am I going to be okay when it gets tough? Yeah. And it's cause you never know what you're going to face. You do. You never know. And the business aspect of it is like right now we're launching a new catering line. Mm -hmm. Like we're spending some money and some time. It's scary. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but like the girl that's helping us do it, she keeps like, hey, what about this? I'm like, yep, go ahead. Yep, yep, sounds good. Yep, yep. And we keep writing checks. And like, there's none of, but I know this is the best thing for our business. Right. And I'm stepping out saying, hey, this is where we're going. This is the plan we have. And so in turn, I know this is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, man, that's the, that's the hard part. Yeah. So. So any last little piece of advice? Is there something you have a, is there a, Thomas Cox saying, like, if I asked your wife, man, what's he always telling people? Like, what's his little go-to? Man, from a business and a life perspective, I go back to eat real food and move. Mm -hmm. Because we are super homeopathic, not very traditional medicine people. And I really, in my heart, feel like that moving properly, what you do here, and eating real food will cure so many of the things that ail our society these days. That's number one. And then number two is, man, I try to live with so much discipline on a daily basis. So if we can eat real, eat real food and move and live, on a, live a disciplined lifestyle, saying no to the things that we know we shouldn't mm -hmm. do, man, you can, you can have the world by the tail if you can do those two things. Those, yeah, those two things. Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this, man. Yes, I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Yep.